Hi, and welcome to another ScanForce recording. We once again thank you for taking time to look at these recordings that we have. Today, we're going to be featuring the ScanForce Container Receipt Management Solution, or CRM. And what this is designed to do is allow companies to receive items in that might be shipping from overseas, for example, where you need to show them on your books, but you might not receive the items in for uh, a few days or even several weeks at certain points. So the way we've handled this is we create a receipt of goods back in Sage for the purchase orders that were uh, assigned for those that are tied to a container coming in. So what would happen is you would go into receipt of goods entry, and you would go ahead and create your receipt once again for the purchase orders that are on the container. And you'll see up here where my mouse is pointing, we allow you to enter a container number. This links multiple purchase orders together by a container. There's also reporting that you can do then to see what purchase order and what items are tied to a container. So you go into Sage, do your receipt, and you receive these into, and when you set up the purchase orders, you adhere to this, an overseas warehouse as an example, or some type of a warehouse that all these items are going into so that they aren't available to be used for sale, um, but they are showing on your books. Now, once the container arrives on the mobile device, the users will log in, go into order processing, here is container receiving, and they will then indicate the container number that they are now receiving in. I'm going to do a lookup. You could barcode that and scan against it. When I do a lookup, it connects up real time and now displays for me all the containers that have been created in my system. You'll see there are several here. The one I'm going to use here is container ABC123. Again, you assign the container whatever name or number uh, or whatever scheme you want to use to go ahead and assign container numbers. Uh, this is for one particular customer, which you would typically see. So I'm going to highlight this. Hit accept. It's going to load the information onto my mobile device here, and it's going to show you here now that it's pulling items out of my from warehouse that I have listed as 999. This is again tying back to Sage. It's an overseas warehouse. That's just the description that I used for it. And now we're removing the items too. So the overall concept here is, is that now we're going to move these items that now they've arrived at our actual location. We're going to move them out of this virtual overseas warehouse and now place them into our main warehouse. This does work with the DSD ScanForce multi-bin as well. I am not showing that currently. If I were, it would be asking for bin locations as well. I'm going to select my two warehouse. All my main warehouse or all my warehouse codes from my Sage system show up here. I'm going to select that, hit accept. It'll hold that. And here's where I can go ahead and scan the items if they're already barcoded. However, on the receiving side of this, if they aren't already barcoded, I could simply do a look up here, select my item. Here's the first item on the list indicate that I'm receiving my 250. If you have ScanForce labeling, it would then prompt you to go ahead and print labels. So now you can label your items on the inbound side. So you would simply go through, grab your items. When you're done, send your data back to your Sage system. It's going to check and it's going to see what you've collected. And it's also going to list out lines that you did not completely receive in and list those as unresolved lines. So we're making sure that you not only get the correct items recorded in correct quantities, but making sure you don't miss anything. When I hit my send data, I'm given an actionable dialog box where I have to indicate, yes, I want to review these because I thought I received everything in as an example, or I understand that I didn't receive these in or don't want to record that at this time. So I'm just going to simply send these over. It'll connect up, sends it over to your Sage system, performs the warehouse transfer. Now those items are available for sale. If you have additional questions on this or would like to see a more in-depth demo, please contact us. You can reach us by phone or email or contact us through our website. Once again, thank you for taking time out of your day to look at this today.